Okay, are you guys ready? We're gonna jump into even more uh, Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. We're gonna do all these Zelda ones. Uh, now this is from Zelda 1. There's also Zelda 2 in the game. So we're just gonna jump into speedrun mode and see exactly how we do this one. So if you guys didn't already see, uh, we're all the way done with S ranks, all the way across the board with Super Mario. Yeah, Super Mario Bros, all S ranks done. Now we're gonna jump into the Legend of Zelda. How many of you guys have ever played this game before? This game, without a guide, there's no way you can beat it. And I'm not convinced otherwise. You cannot, you cannot convince me that you beat this game without a guide. Because it's so obscure, open world, you have to like push blocks and go through the weird forest, man. I beat it once or twice with a guide, and it's so hard. But anyway, let's do some work, and uh, wish me luck. We're gonna get some S ranks. Here we go. This one's called Don't Go Alone, Get the Sword. That's easy. Just go inside there and you get the sword. Walk a couple steps this way, and you jump in. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. How did I not get that perfectly? Cool. So you don't go up as far and then turn into it. You can get it right at his head. So there's your S rank. Easy mode, number 14. Super simple. Okay, here we go. Unlocking. Octorok Onslaught. Defeat all the enemies. So it looks like I have Blade Beam enabled. So I have to somehow combo them together. Do some sort of swipe through one and then the Blade Beam gets shot as well. Oh, gross. Ow. No more Blade Beam. I'm out. That's hard. That was actually really good. I noticed the spawn points of them. I noticed that the bottom left one was spawning, so I threw the Blade Beam at that, took care of the next one, and then knock it out. That was like only two tries, two or three tries on that. Not bad. 15. We're, we're going swimmingly with this one. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Enter the cave. Okay, enter the cave. That's it. So it looks like it's going to be all the way over there. You throw a bomb at it, and then you just go inside it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so what I learned from that one was um, as long as you put the bomb as close as you can to like the left side of the screen, like the splash radius will hit towards the right. And then you just immediately start holding up to go in there because it's like literally a flash that it's enabled and you could squeeze on through. Not too bad. Pretty easy. Give me that. I will take number 16. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Um, okay, key of the keys. Get the key. Okay, so looking at this, you just have to destroy the keys, and then you get the key. And the key is in the bottom right, and you have blade beam. Okay, so I have to aim these blade beams correctly in order to get this a little bit more accurately and faster. Okay, key of the keys, great. Ah! That's it. That's the one. That is the one. Okay, great. I had the strategy correct the first time. Absolutely got it. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. We are doing these S ranks so quickly. Okay, moving on. Now we got some hard ones. Those are the normal, the normal difficulty ones. Here we go. What's this? Take heart. Get the heart container. Okay, so we're moving all the way this way. Great. You gotta like bomb something. I don't know. He's going all the way through. Okay, watching out for the Tektites, not engaging. Okay, going all the way through. What are you doing? Bombing that wall, going in. It's kind of in the middle, and then you pick the heart. Okay, I could do that. How is that not an S rank? Please don't. That's That sounds like an RNG spawn. Get out, get out. 
No blade beam. Or just walk. Because you're losing time. Oh my, I wasn't even walking into it. Alright, it's a rough draft, man. Dry run. Dry run A+, plus. okay. Fine, whatever. Really? I don't need to be swiping the sword twice. I'm just gonna walk through here. And if they hit me, they hit me. But then these little guys come out, randomly. I didn't even let the fanfare music go on. Got it. That's it. Not too bad. Not too bad. I did like one extra sword swipe, so I probably could get a little bit faster with that one. But as long as you know the pixels of where you need to stand to get inside the um, inside the wall, you're fine. And then once you, you're inside this little cave, you have to go up only the amount uh, that's level with the bottom of the heart and then move over. Yeah, that's not bad. These aren't hard. These are gonna be hard. Okay, let's see, this is the dragon. Uh, Aquamentus, Argumentus. Defeat Aquamentus, it's uh, attack, attack. Just hit him in the head, watch out for his fireballs. I mean, I have plenty of health, so I could just keep on hitting him in the head and damage boost. That's my initial thoughts. Okay, I could have gotten an I could have gotten an S on that one. Yes. It's the timing, right? It's it's he has invincibility frames, so you have to do one, two. Three, four, five, six, and then get him right then and there for the perfect S rank. Dude, we are grooving. We are grooving through this mode. Let's go. Next one, hard. It's a secret to everybody. Get a hundred rupees? Oh, yeah. Here we go. You're going to jump inside there. Okay, it's a secret to everybody. And then you just grab that. Like, these are easy. You're just, you're just uncovering secrets of the game. It doesn't matter at this point. Oh, we're gonna throw the fireball. What? What are you talking about? Oh, so I have to be two steps away? Only use fire once, so I have to be at the bottom here and face up? Okay. Yeah, this is S, absolutely. Yeah, that's the strategy. Like, the fireball doesn't have to, like, be on that exact square. You just have to pass through it. Super cool. Super cool. Yeah, I love that. I'll take some more S ranks. Thank you, number 19. All right, another hard one. Why are they hard, man? Get out of here. Compared to Mario, this is a cakewalk. This is called Gut Bomb. Dodongos. Okay, so how many bombs for Dodongo? Two? Let's see. Two? Yeah, two bombs for Dodongo, and he's got to eat it. And I remember uh, just knowledge that you can like throw another one in his mouth real quick. Like that. Done. See, first try, S rank. Dude, I'm cool. Like I knew this from the game that you can do that because otherwise they're walking around at like random intervals up, down, left and right. So if you just like place another one right in his mouth as soon, you're all set. First try S rank, baby. Love it. Love that, love that. What a cool guy. Next, Death Mountain Duel. Ooh, Lynels. All right, let's take a look at the Lynels. How are we gonna beat them? Just with the sword? Okay, so Blade Beam, Blade Beam, Blade Beam, and you just continuously Blade Beam and you're done. So maybe I could Blade Beam him from the other side? No. I mean, that would be really good. If like, if I could catch him across the ways, but then that takes a long time. So I'm just gonna go up at him. Here we go. Another S rank first try, baby. Dude, that's great. I love that. So it's the same concept as the uh, uh, Aquamentus, right? You hit him once and then there's like a couple of milliseconds of invincibility frames. And if you know the timing, you can instantly hit him with your sword one more time and just chain it. So simple. 
Two S ranks in a row? We're gonna be done in no time. Okay, Deadeye. Let's see, defeat Goma. Oh, with the arrows, huh? So once his eye is open, you fire the arrows at his eyeball from bottom up. And then I think it's what, three? Yeah, it's three shots, okay. I don't know if I could combo this together, but I'm gonna shoot one right off the bat. No, I'm not. Okay. Two on the first cycle is probably the way to go. Yep, two on the first cycle, just like that. And then as soon as he opens up next time, I have to be in line for the shot like this. Deadeye. Mmm, I'm dissecting every single one of these challenges, man. This is cool. Freaking love this game, man. So cool. Okay. So cool. All right, next up. Oh, beneath the hollow tree. Enter level one. Okay, that's not that's not far away. You just run over here, then you go up, then you go up one more time, and then there's some water. You go up one more time, then you go to the left, then you go inside. You're done. Not hard. Okay, so it's up, right, up, up. Yeah, up, right, up, up. Okay, I can do this. Why is this hard? And there's arrows to even guide you. Ooh, that was a waste of two, two squares. That's fine. I thought I had to come out of that. Shoot me. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Oh, because that would have fired me a little bit higher and, and I would have gone faster. So slow because I got hit and... Shoot me, shoot me. Nope. Done. Okay, this is what I'm thinking right here. Oh, so I gotta bait out their spawn? Watch this. This part right here? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm doing... That's it. That was exactly it. That's what I needed. So remember that one little one that was spawning by the bridge? I waited for him because I knew he was going to push me over that way. That's actually very generous because I got hit a couple more times as well. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to celebrate that one. But I knew that there was a way to get in there a little bit quicker instead of just like walking across the bridge. So yeah, decent. I don't need to get a better score. I know it's possible though. All right, moving on. Here we go. Master. Ooh, uh, Dark Nuts. Defeat all the enemies. Oh, these guys are the worst. Oh, okay. So you can do a, an attack that pushes them and then the blade beam can destroy them. That's going to be key. And I have arrows too, so I'm going to try them both. I can do infinite arrows. No, I don't think I can because I don't have rupees. Let's try it out. Let's see what, come, what we can come up with. How did he get... Oh, shoot. Ow. I have no rupees for arrows. You got to get them on the side. Okay, this is very rough for me. This is very rough. I'll do it. I'll do it again. I got the A rank, but like I will I will 100% do this. Got him. That was way cleaner. Oh my gosh, so easy. So like the thing is though, like what they do is they they always kind of aim towards you, aim walking towards you, but they only go in the cardinal directions. So if you can bait them to do one square down, you can easily move and hit them on the side. So simple. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I'll take number 24 though. Easy, easy. Here we go, master mode. Master challenge, Wizrobe Warrior. Ooh, defeat all the enemies. Okay, so these are kind of a little bit RNG. Just looking at their patterns, it takes two hits to destroy them. And I may have to use Blade Beam for this, so we'll see what's up. Fair. Okay, the whiz robe that fires the shot is random, and I have to aim for those guys first. Because they're spawning all over the place, whereas the other whiz robes just walk around. Okay, this is easy. Watch. Got him. A little bit of damage boost, you're fine. As long as you take care of the orange ones really quick, and you align up your blade beams to get some free and easy hits, you're set, dude. S-Ranks on Zelda is easy. Why is it so easy? 
We're almost done, man. And this is in like 20, 23 minutes. Okay, this is some sort of uh, Gliok. Ooh, Gliok. Yeah, I remember that from what? Tears of the Kingdom? So it appears that you just have to, you can attack from the side, but I have so much health. Why would I, why would I just like attack from the side? I can just damage boost and keep on swiping. All right, let's take a look. Oh, I have to hit the head. Okay, yeah, yeah, we just damage boost through this. This is so simple. I can't seem to beat this in less than 10 seconds, or less than 9-5. Oh. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's the less than 9-5 that I'm talking about. So it's just you keep on going with it, and you keep on, like, attacking. And as long as you know that tempo, you're going to be golden to get that one. So simple. Here we go, Legend. A labyrinth champion. Lear level one labyrinth. What are you talking about? You're telling me I gotta beat this whole level? All right, let's see. Get the key. Can I leave the area and get the free key? Okay, so then you're going over here. Great, great. You get another key. Dude, I don't... I don't know where to go. I have to really, really commit to my brain the map of this area. I don't know where the heck that was. What's classified information going to tell me? Oh, wow. That's wonderful. Okay. I'm going to like screenshot this. I'm going to screenshot this so that I have it on the side so I know which ways to go. Find the four keys. Okay. Pretty cool. Hold up. Where's the key? Uh, the key will appear if you beat every Stalfos in the room. Okay, so it appears go over there, get the key, go up, get the key over there, go all the way over there, get the key there, and then you turn over. Okay, that's not bad. I can figure this out. Let's try it. I'm actually playing Zelda now. Can I go out of the room? Don't leave the labyrinth. That's the that's the strategy of this level. Uh, I had this. I have this right here. We go. Check it out. Check it out. It's pretty fast. We didn't go sailing all the way to the uh, right side of the screen. So I can't be so close to Aquamentis, otherwise he is going to um, destroy me. He's going to take away a full heart, and I can't afford that. Don't. Got the key. Don't need rupees for anything. One key is going to be in the way. <laughs> what? He came and attacked me? What? What weird patterns, man. Yo, he's like, dude, you're not getting this key. And proceeded to destroy me. Half a heart. Hey, Boomerang Boys. I would love to go through them. I kind of did. Circuitously. Our key. Free key to the bottom. And then here's Aquamentus. I can't be too close. Otherwise, I'm going to lose it. Oh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, S rank. What? What do you mean there's more? Oh shoot, now I gotta actually get the Triforce piece? What? Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, not too bad. You just gotta break it down. You gotta break it down and know exactly what you need to do. Go where? There we go, that's it, friends. Easy mode, The Legend of Zelda unlock and play all challenges. That's it. We have just done everything in The Legend of Zelda. That's great. Is that 25, right? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 
Did I not pay attention? I'm so sorry. No one's paying attention at home either. <laughs> right? One, that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 29. Shoot, I should have 29 right now. Yeah, that was good. Okay, so that's it. Legend of Zelda Mastered. We have 540 right now. So let's go buy some Zelda player icons since we finished that up really easily. Here we go. I'll spend 540 bucks worth. There's the old man. There's the grandma, the potion shop. I think that's Zelda. There's an Octorok. Here's a, a Coblin, a Moblin, Tektite, Zora, uh, Flytrap. Mm, I don't know what those things are. Armos. Armos, yeah. Yeah, a little ghost. Uh, ooh, what are the Lynels? Keys? Stalfos? Uh, Boomerang Dude? Uh, wall? Wall Clinger? <laughs> Some of these names are official, trust me. And last one, cool, that's a like like. Alright, and there's a lot of things. Dude, this thing. Is that Ganon for a thousand? No way, man. Alright, we're gonna be. That's so fun. So since our next challenge is going to be Metroid, I'm going to choose Metroid uh, Samus Icon as mine. But anyway, let's take a look at our pin collection over here. Um, this one is Dangerous to Go Alone. We got that one. Pretty cool. We can flip that over. Ding, ding. We got these Octorok Onslaughts. So fun. Look at this one. That's right. Fire in the hole. Key of the keys. I wish there was like a collector set of all of these manufactured because these are so cute. Aquamentus Arguments. I mean, I'm surprised we didn't have to fight Ganondorf. Like, did they really go all out on Mario 1 and, like, shortchange Zelda 1 with the challenges? I don't know, man. This is really fun, though. We got a lot of them. Dark Nut Dust Up. Wizro Warrior. Ooh, the body will follow. And then the last one over here, Labyrinth Champion. Cool, I'm going to put that one as my favorite. Do we get any other ones on the bottom? Uh, we did. Okay, we did 100... Uh, clear challenges a hundred times. That's great. And then this one over here is the Legend of Zelda pin. Looks like a retro TV. Cool. All right. 500 times. Yeah. This is so cool. Love that. Okay. Well, there we have it. We've done... Look at all those S ranks, man. Okay. That's cool. We're almost all the way through, man. I'm so, so happy for it. Well, anyway, as usual, uh, we're going to jump into Metroid next. If you guys have ever played, uh, Metroid. Plays Samus and, uh... Planet, I don't remember what planet, Zebus? Is she in Zebus in this one? I don't remember. Anyway, you guys are great. Thanks for watching.